my channel. Let me take this off. I was testing out this little baby, the Mira Professional Eye Lifting thing I got in my um, FabFitFun box. Uh, feels pretty good. It was pretty tingly there, but it's kind of a weird thing. You apply, bleh, apply this stuff onto there and then you put it on your eyes. I'll have to maybe do a little more review of that later. But anyway, today's video is about Glossy Box and I uh, was supposed to get my November box in today. And so I went to the mailbox and this tracking matches my November box. And then I saw on the outside, it said this. If you guys can read that, it says the Amora Pacific limited edition box, which from what I understood was orderable in September, but wasn't going to come out till November 1st. I went ahead and for went that box because I was feeling a little product overload. But lo and behold, when I opened it up, they sent me the wrong box. Um, at first I was a little upset and then I watched some videos of some people's boxes and I honestly think I got the better end of the deal. Although the box is really pretty for November, the products are fairly lackluster and I would have felt very like upset. But I'm going to go ahead and instead review this because I only saw like one or two videos on this. I think this literally is just getting shipped out at the same exact time. And so since I have it and I like it better than the box that I was supposed to get, I figure we'll go over it. And I am honestly, you know, normally I would reach out to the company and say, hey, you know, there is an issue. You sent me the wrong box. But honestly, I don't really want to switch out the boxes and I don't really want the other box. So I am happy with this box. I'm just going to leave it be. Hopefully no unlucky person who ordered this box gets the November box by accident. If they do, I surely hope that they reach out to the company. Um, but let's dive into this mistaken box. So as you can see, this is really pretty. This is supposed to be a K-Beauty brand. Um, it is not just Amori Pacific stuff. It's everything that this parent company has. So this is I don't know if I'm saying this, IOP, uh, I can't even say that name, Amore Pacific, Marmond, and Lanai. So um, there's a lot of products in here. This is supposed to be a $35 box. Obviously, I did not pay that. Um, I think you could have used like a $5 coupon code. I don't even think it's available anymore. I don't even see it on their website. Uh, so some people got this for $30. I have Glossy Box on a three-month purchase prescription subscription sorry so my boxes cost me like 19 something a box so this baby cost me like 19 bucks so anyway let's get into it so like every glossy box they are very beautifully packaged the inside is nice and shiny and this is what it looked like I quickly peeked because I wasn't sure if they sent me the right box um, I had also ordered the holiday box because I had a bunch of credits credits from reviewing their products lined up and I wanted to make sure that this was not mistakenly sent instead of that but that box hasn't even shipped so anyway they always do really pretty wrapping and um, there are a lot of products in here so this is what it looks like I don't know if they have a product handout here I don't see a card usually on top they have like a really nice card that tells you all about the products I don't see that in this one, and so I don't know much about these products or the prices, unfortunately. Again, I don't know if that is normal for this box, because even on their like Mother's Day special one, they had a product handout, but I don't see one in here, so we're just going to go through it. So the first thing is the Lanai or Lanai Cleansing Moisturizing Foam Cleanser for Dry to Normal Skin. Um, I actually was getting close to needing a new cleanser. One of the Mira cleansers did not work out well with my skin. This is what it looks like. This is, I believe, a full-size product. Six fluid ounces. Oh, it has a... Uh... We'll open this because I'm going to get into this not too much later. Let's see. It smells really clean like soap dip my nose in there you can see the product there this is really nice it definitely looks cream like um, and it's supposed to be with shea butter yeah 
So anyway, this is really nice. Let me see if they have anything else interesting about this. And they tell you all the things you're not supposed to do with it, like don't put in an open wound, duh. Um, and don't keep using if you have an allergic reaction. But anyway, this is really nice. Like, I am super excited about this. If I got this in a regular glossy box, I would be super excited. I know the brand. It's a product I can use. It's a nice big product. It smells great. So there's one product. All right, so next product here is the Derma Gentle Sika Cream. Sorry, guys, I am, it's really late at night. I'm a hot mess. I need to wash my hair, but that's going to happen in the morning. So if you see me kind of pushing it back, it's because I see it in my viewfinder and it's driving me nuts. All right. So this is, um, I really wish I had a handout on all this stuff, but I don't know what a Sika cream is. <laughs> if you know, comment down below. Let's see if we can figure this out together. This is IOP, which I have not heard of this brand, but again, it's one of these uh, pa parent companies of this brand. So uh, it's focused skincare cream that contains ingredients like Mechisos Medicoside, I can't even pronounce that, Panthenol, and a type of leaf extract. I'm not even gonna go in and read to take care of rough skin. I'm not gonna open this because, well, you know what, what the heck? I don't even know. I think this is just a lotion. You can see I have some of that uh, Cover FX drops from my glossy box. So I'm real glittery. It does not really have a smell. It just feels like a nice lotion. Hmm. That's nice. I mean, I don't tend to use a lot of lotions, but I'm going to research this more. Again, if you know what this cream is specifically, I would really, 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 really be interested. Is this a face cream? Or is this a, okay, so it says method of use, stirring the skincare cream step in the morning and evening after using toner and serum. So this is a face cream. Take appropriate amount and spread softly on irritated and sensitized skin, lightly surround skin with palms to help absorb. So this is for like irritated red inflamed skin. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, I am definitely gonna use this. This is something that I see myself using. All right, so that's another nice big product. This one here is the Essential Cream Fluid by Amora Pacific. This is, let's see if we can get into here what this is specifically. Ooh, this is a nice fancy, oh, it's just plastic. I thought it was glass here. That's what it looks like. This is experience the lightweight texture, instant hydration of fluid and long lasting benefit of rich cream with nutrient rich tea essentials. You're supposed to use one to two pumps after cleansing and toning. Let me see what the ingredients are in this. So, um, it has some oils, oils, um, and I'm trying to see if this has any other, it does have fragrance in it. So I guess this is just like a, um, it's like a lightweight cream. I'm going to have to again do a little more research, but this seems like another face cream. Let's do a couple pumps. Yeah, so here you go. It's just a cream. Ooh, it's a little overwhelming of a scent, but it smells good. It is very like, I don't know, uh, baby powder mixed with soap. I don't know if I love that scent, but the cream feels really nice. Mm. Anyway, I may give this one away to a family member. It feels nice. It's very hydrating. It goes into my skin nicely. I just don't know about the scent. All right, moving on here. We have got a itty bitty teeny tiny little package here. This is the uh, Vintage Single Extract Essence. This is 0.16 fluid ounces, so this is itty bitty. This is by Amore Pacific as well. And this is, let's see what we've got here. Oh wow, look at this, yeah, itty bitty. Look at that. And this is, if let's see if it says anything more about this. It has Camellia Syncesis Leaf Extract. I'm pretty sure I just said that wrong. 
but I assume with essence you usually put these on somewhere in your skin routine usually before your heavy creams and oils and stuff oh that has a nice fresh scent so it's just a little bit I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face here it just I think is supposed to help condition your skin so that's what it is it's a little bitty but a long a little bit of this goes a long way again I'm gonna have to do some research into this like I said I was not expecting any of this and then I got this in the mail and then it didn't have the information sheet all right the next thing is the Marmande pore clean clay mask I think I've gotten a version of this in my Sephora play it was a slightly different one. This one's green. I think the other one I got was gray. This thing smells fantastic. I am super excited. I love me a good clay mask. Even though I have dry skin, I just like them. All right, next item here is the Lanai Water Sleeping Mask. And I don't know. I think this is for the whole face. It's itty bitty. You can see a little tiny sample. So it says, apply evenly across the face, leave treatment overnight, once or twice a week is how often you use it. So that's it. It's just a simple cream. This is a tiny sample. This will maybe get me like three wears out of it, maybe four, depending on how thick. But that's a little, little sample. That's a little disappointing. Someone I was reading up on this had noted that these specialty boxes used to be like all full-size products and recently they've kind of gone away from this it feels like they have maybe two maybe three full-size products in here and and then the rest are like sample sizes considering i got this at like a, a fraction of the cost because they sent me the wrong thing i'm okay um and then this final thing which i cannot pronounce this brand solwa choso if anyone knows please comment below i'm sorry i'm butchering the language but this is supposed to be an activating mask and you're supposed to use this, like any other mask, um, to place it on and then wear it for 10 to 20 minutes. And I don't really know past that. I'm not sure what an activating mask is supposed to do. It says you're supposed to use it once or twice a week after cleansing. And yeah, so I'll give that a try. So that's it. There, Like I said, there was no handout in my box like they normally give for me to know the prices. I think when I was looking it up when they were like showing off this box, the box value is supposed to be like 115 So the box value is there. I'm very happy with most of the products. Like I'm going to use pretty much all of these products. The only thing I might pass on is the face cream just because... I don't know if I can handle that smell. That That's not my most favorite smell. I'm not a big baby powder soap smell fan. But I figure that's not a bad box. And it is way better than the box that I saw for November. The box that I saw for November had like a face mask or two. And then it had like a hairspray oil thing, which I probably would have liked. And um I'm trying to think what else like it was a hodgepodge of stuff I was kind of disappointed but we'll see I have one more month of this and then the Christmas box which I got like I said for pretty much nothing because of my points and I'm gonna reevaluate this in December if I'm really 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 disappointed about the December box then I may move on to a different subscription which is really sad because I really enjoy this used to enjoy this box a lot more but thank you glossy box for screwing out this up this actually was really nice <laughs> and i really appreciate that you